Right. So, patch 6.3, God's Reveal, Land Scramble, Special Site Update. The patch 6.3 special site has been updated with details on the main scenario. The new dungeon, Lapis Manlis, Containment Bay T1 T6, Unreal. Okay, so we get a new Unreal. And additional duty support. Be sure to visit regularly for the latest information on patch 6.3. View the special site. So we're gonna continue over here viewing the special site. Now let's see what's happening here. Okay. Alright. Ooh. Kinda like the artwork to be honest with you. We have Zero and the Warrior of Well. The hero basically because he's warrior of light and darkness now i don't know if because in the past we were saying like the warrior of light but now but but now we know like he's also the warrior of darkness so yeah so let's scroll down and see what's the special site about god's reveal land strength coming early january 2023 new story okay so we get new we're gonna get we're gonna get the new cinematic uh cinematic i mean the new msq well obviously hello hello rindes so main scenario quest god god's reveal lands tremble that's next point please so we get a bit of a cutscene so we have zero well we already know her then it looks Okay, it looks like we're taking zero to Garlemore. Okay. Hello, Insta Raminkum, welcome, welcome. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so this is the new dungeon that we're gonna get. Lapis Manalis. Patch 6.3. Okay. Do we see something over here special? Like, I see a couple of cliffs, ice, basically in Garlemore. This has to be in Garlemore, somewhere in the mountains in Garlemore, because it's too snowy. And obviously, it's Endwalk. So. Oh, what have we here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I like that. I think she's gonna be my new favorite. <laughs> I'm already. Uh, what the? Stop changing. Let me do this. There we go. So yeah, I like it. I like it. I genuinely do like it. So she's gonna be my new favorite gothic girl. Like yeah. The layout of Lapis reminds you of Kingdom Hearts 3 in the Frozen. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. It's gonna be everyone's favorite. I do not doubt that. I honestly do not doubt that. I'm gonna admit she looks, she looks interested. So we're gonna get a dungeon and she's gonna be the boss of the dungeon. Is a reaper okay so he has to do something with the reaper oh wait in pursuit of in pursuit of voice send you learn of an abandoned village in the mountains of garlemore where garleans once practiced the reaper arts but what you will find there deep in the heart of the mountain we're gonna found her i'm okay yep i'm okay with finding her she has to have a lore, like honestly, every boss in this game has a lore, so she will have a lore. Okay, so this is the new Unreal trial, uh, the new Unreal uh, trial, contain Bay T1 TC, man I fucking love this. This is the word with the, with the, what was the, with the scales, yeah, when you, <laughs> people fall down when they, <laughs> when the scales jump up and down, people actually fall down from it, I kind of like it. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting. So, as ever, the Fox Container con Commander craves tales of death, defying the Rhine Doom. And in a bit of satisfying him, you cast your mind back 
to your snake encounter with the icon Sophia. The memory remains vivid even now, and you find yourself facing the goddess once more. Your your very survival hangs in the balance. Oh my, your balance. That's a nice reference. Doing a bit of like a balance of that. But yeah. Oh man. Ooh. So this is the additional duty support. So that means in Heaven's Worth, we can people look like the dragoon. Yeah, the warrior of light as a dragoon. So people will now be able to call upon the the characters of the game to actually do the Heaven's War MSQ. So that's gonna be interesting. It's interesting to see this and to hear, but it's also sad as well. My personal opinion regarding the duty support is like this. Square Enix is preparing for something big in the future, but they're making the game too too friendly for solo playing. Like I do understand, I do understand that Final Fantasy XIV, first and foremost, it's an RPG, then an MMO. But also, I don't know if you guys notice, in these days, people stop calling games like MMM and MMO. They stop calling it like that and they basically call them online play online playing playing uh, games or online play for war connecting online with play with other players you know what i mean so this is kind of concerning for me because i do understand we finished the, the zodiac finally zodiac arc yeah and there yoshi p did promise that this is his baby and he's not gonna leave final fantasy 14 but also maybe it's me being skeptical about it but why are you push like why do you push the game to be solo playing almost like in the past it was queuing up with people to play the game to do the dungeon and it was working fine i do get it like it's nice to have like the hero the warriors of light companions to do the dungeons to basically be part of the story to make the story even more better but Feels like it's too much, too much pressure. So, okay, you're saying that behind the scenes, both square must have their work fully cut out. I mean, the amount of different teams they have working on multiple projects is insane to say the least but they always deliver true i'm not saying nothing against that but i'm just a bit i don't know i'm being a bit scared over here because it feels like i'm not gonna be surprised honestly if we're gonna hear in the future that we're gonna actually can take the whole final fantasy 14 and just solo play it through all of it this looks nice okay so this is a bit what we get more with the new patch of 6.3 new main scenario quest new alliance raid dungeon myths of the realm part 2 and fusion okay so we're gonna go find out more about the gods and that's what i want to find out more about the gods the 12s the the 12s of uh, gods of eorzea well if it is whatever they are these days so we get the new dungeon lapis manalis the new tile the new ultimate new ultimate raid Okay, so in patch 6.31, we're gonna get a new ultimate raid. Another one? Wait, did I miss an update? We get in a deep dungeon, Eureka Orthos. Dude, deep dungeon, Palace of the Dead, Heavens on High, and now Eureka Orthos. Um, that got me curious. Yeah, man, new deep dungeon. Woo -hoo. You know what that means, Rintes? Polish your heels. <laughs> Polish your heels, because you may never know. Like, let's let, you you will never know. Like, let let's do it for for a laugh. You know what I mean? And then we find ourselves floor. Like we're gonna find ourselves like after seven hours, floor one hundred seventy. You know what I mean? Polish your heels. Cause you're coming with me mate on this one. 
New Deep Dungeon. Okay, that's Eureka Orthos. And oh man, New Unreal Trial Contemporary Bay. Yeah, I got that additional duty support. We got that the Tarus Grand Adventure continues. Somehow further Hildebrand adventure. Man, I love the Hildebrand questline. For the people who didn't play Hildebrand, they should play Hildebrand. It's fucking hilarious. Weapon enhancement quest, smart every weapon. So we get the relic weapon upgrade. I'm looking forward to see how they're gonna transform. And we're gonna finally gonna get. Oh wait, I skipped one. Tool enhancement quest. So that's gonna be something for gatherers and crafters. Nothing to do with me. We're gonna get a new tribal quest, the Loporids. Man, I'm gonna be honest, I've been waiting to see the new tribal quest Loporids. I thought you were gonna do it from the beginning, but no. I need to finish the the Omicrons as well. New custom deliveries. Okay. Treasure hunt. Oh man, shifting gymnasium agonon. Okay, so we're gonna get a map. A new map of the treasure hunts okay so i'm assuming they're gonna do like in the middle of arena and then basically you roll the, <laughs> the circle and you get something random out of it like for previous ones so that's gonna be all right uh Rintes, guys people in my live stream why did i say to you make sure to level up your island sanctuary because i'm sure they're gonna do something more with the island and they're not gonna leave it like that what's this Island Sanctuary Updates. Mm -hmm. So basically guys, get your, get your stuff together and sort out your islands. Crystalline Conflict, new arena, so that's a PvP. Gold, so the Gold Saucer, new course for the Leap of Faith, that's basically ain't I'm gonna be honest with you. The only time when I actually was farming the gold saucer when I wanted to get the regalia with the MGPs. Other than that, it's not my type of content. I do play it now and then if I have to play with people and they want like, come on, let's do this. Yeah, sure, why not? But for me, eh. housing update. So we're gonna get house. Obviously, we're gonna get new mounts, minions, and emotes. I'm looking forward. <laughs> I'm looking forward for the emotes. Oh man, so yeah, the latest expansion of Final Fantasy 14, Final Fantasy Endwalker, Warrior of Flight, bear forth our hope that these days not be the last. Oh my god. So yeah, what do you guys think about that update? Honestly, it looks a lot for Patch 6.3, but you need to be mindful because you're not gonna get all of this in one go. It says that it's gonna start with Patch 6.3, but as you can see, Ultimate rate 6.31, 6 for 35, 35, 35, 6 for 35, 6 for 35. So you're still not getting everything in one go. You're still gonna get them gradually. But other than that, I'm looking forward to be honest, because I'm not gonna be up in the ass. I want, I want a new. But seriously, she. Hmm. Can you imagine the, the new got uh, stars are gonna appear in the game now yeah 